Jessica. Jack, did you reconsider my offer? About resigning? Yeah, no, not a chance. But the bylaws require you to be given formal notice, so. You're calling for an emergency vote of no confidence today? Yes. Well, you're shitty at math, Jack. Because even if we lost McKernan, one client is not enough to turn the partners against me. Jack, you calculated, Jessica. Because you only had half the partners, and every single one of them's about to lose the biggest client to a hostile takeover because of your poor leadership. We both know the only hostile takeover you care about is the one in here. Take a picture. Because tomorrow morning, those letters are coming down. Where the hell is he? I don't know. Gretchen, I swear, if you want to have a job tomorrow, you better tell me where Harvey is. Miss Pearson, every Sunday I lay out all my outfits for the coming week, and I have no intention of not wearing one of those babies tomorrow. So with all due respect, I don't know. Well, if you want to pick out your clothes for next week, you better find the hell out. Louis, I need to talk to you for a minute. About what? Jack Soloff is calling for a vote to remove me as managing partner today. What? Why the hell would he do that after you offered to make him name partner? Because I didn't offer to make him name partner. I told him to resign. What happened to our plan? It wasn't our plan, Louis. It was your insane idea, and I was never going to do it. Jessica. No, you listen to me. The matter at hand is making sure that we have more people on our side than he and Daniel have on theirs. What am I supposed to do now? You are going to do exactly what I told you to do in the first place. You're going to find out what Daniel has on that Weasley son of a bitch and do it before 7 o'clock tonight. Because if I can't get enough votes before then, the only way we win is to make this whole thing go away. Cancel my day. Lewis. What are you doing here? How did you get past Stacy? I walk right by her. Well, in that case, what can I do for you? I want to know what the hell you have on Jack Soloff. I have nothing on Jack other than his trust and confidence that I'm a better attorney than Jessica. Shut your mouth. You're not fit to lick her boots. Good, because that's your job, Lewis, not mine. Listen to me. Remember when I told you I'd kill you if you so much as tell me the incorrect time? Tell me what you have on Jack right now or you're dead in 15 seconds. I remember when you did that, Lewis. And right after that, I went straight to my attorneys and told them you had threatened my life. And now you've come into my office and done it again in front of a witness. What witness? Stacy, did you get that? I got it. So as I see it, security will be here in about 60 seconds. So if you want to kill me, now's your chance. I swear to God, I will find out what you're holding over Jack's head. I doubt that. And I certainly doubt that you'll find it by 7 o'clock. So instead of me telling you what I have on Jack, let me tell you what I have on you. You vote with me today, and your sister's company lives. What? Well, it turns out my client is looking to get into the muffin business. You leave my sister out of this? Sure thing. As long as you vote to remove Jessica. I can't do that. Then I'm not only going to buy it, I'm going to rip that company of hers apart. You son of a bitch. She never did anything to you. No. But you did. And Jessica did. And Harvey did. So you have a choice. Your firm or your family. Jessica, can I talk to you? I take it you haven't found out what Hardman has on Jack. I haven't, but there's something else. Doesn't matter. I got us the votes. You did? I went to Paul Porter and I turned him. And the three votes that he comes with. So we're up by three? No, including Harvey, we're up by one. No, we're not. Hardman's going after Esther's company. And he's not going to back off unless you vote against me. Lewis. I know what you're going to say. We can stop it. But I went to Jeffrey to get him to not sell his shares, and he told me that Hardman's offering 40% over asking. Jeffrey agreed not to sell, but everyone else will. If Hardman can't get the stocks, he's going to buy the distributor. And if he can't buy the distributor, he's going to go after the contract. Lewis. Forstman is his backer. I know. Well, then you know that he has unlimited resources and I can't fight a war on multiple fronts. And I could tell you, if you side with me, we'll figure out a way to save Esther's company, but 
I have a sister too. I'm sorry. Be wise. Whatever happens, I want you to know, Pearson will always consider Lit her partner. Jessica, if it had been anybody other than his sister, he would never even consider. I know, Donna. And you don't have to apologize for him, because I know what a bastard Daniel Hartman is. Is there anything I can do? Yes. You still have some time before the vote. I asked Gretchen to find Harvey this morning. I asked the wrong person. I'll find him. Well, it seems Harvey won't be joining us, so we may as well get started. We're here because there's a concern that I no longer have the best interests of the firm at heart, but am instead focused on the selfish interests of certain individuals. For those of you who feel that way, there's not much I could do at this point to change your minds, so I'll say, I hope it remains my pleasure to serve this firm. I think it's time we vote. Well, if you're not gonna say anything to change your mind, then I will. You made it. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Okay, fine, you're here. But there's nothing that says you can plead her case. And there's nothing that says you can't, so why don't you sit your ass down? Go ahead, then. Get your speech over with so we can get to the vote. No speech, just this. A termination letter. As of now, the company that's been targeting our clients is no longer represented by Daniel Hartman. Bullshit. Go ahead, call him. Of course, it might take a while since you've got to go through the prison switchboard to get a hold of him. Yep, that's right. That's the kind of man Jack Soloff and Daniel Hardman do business with, one who's already behind bars. Look, let me be clear. The attack on this firm was an attack on me. Daniel blamed me for having to leave this firm. So he was trying to hit me where it hurt the most, namely this firm and my partners and my friends. But that's over. He has no more money, no more power, no more friends. Now, all of you, you're about to vote on whether Jessica should continue running this firm. Now, I know some of you think that she's turned a blind eye to my behavior and, and the risks I've taken, but for you to remove her would be the greatest risk of all. Because if there's one thing I know, is that Jessica Pearson cares about this firm and everyone in it. Because to her, we're not just colleagues or even friends. We're family. Thank you, Harvey. Let's vote. Jessica, I don't think we're gonna be needing the ballots. I think everybody knows where they stand. All in favor of Jessica staying. And I guess everyone here is happy keeping things the way they are, except for one. You walked out before we got a chance to celebrate. Sorry, it's just been a long day. Harvey, how exactly did you get that termination letter from Forsman? Let's talk about it in the morning. Harvey. I agreed to step down. Absolutely not. You are not going to step down. It's done. Nothing's done. Jessica, please. You've given up everything for this firm. It's time someone gave up something for you. What if I don't want you to be the one to do that? Then forgive me because I am. <laughs> 